And this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. This is my last painting of the day. And I have been trying to force myself to use yellow for a long time. I've been experimenting with these cutout pieces of plastic in different widths and keeping a canvas board to the side. We're going to use a Arteza canvas board today, another one. They don't warp. I recommend them. And some Arteza paint as well. And I don't know what other tools I might want to use. Um, Princeton Artel Catalyst spatulas and basting brushes and chain and basting brushes. I take three, two thirds of the bristles out of those, by the way. And uh, I have a larger one and a smaller one. And there's an OXO omelet turning spatula available on my Amazon link, along with my book. Wait, where is it? My book, because I can, which is. 100, over 100 pages long of uh, the first 100 artworks and uh, tools and processes. And so we are going to start by spreading some white paint in a somewhat strange pattern because I can and my intention is to swipe. And in order to swipe over the different areas, I need to alternate the colors. And I don't know what's going to happen until I do it. So I'm not making a very strong plan of attack, I'm just making a plan, period. And since I have a couple of different colors of yellow, I think that's part of my plan. And I may come back in with, um, with orange afterwards, but if I put it in now it's going to be a very peachy color and that's not one of my colors, so um, I would just as soon try and do something else until then that may or may not include adding more white still. This could just wind up being the beginning of, uh, of something that we're going to do a background. So I'm going to use the widest part of this and I'm going to dip it right in. I'm going to bring that over to the edge of my tile. I'm going to double dip and I'm going to wipe it off on my tile. I am going to attempt to cover a portion of my canvas with as much paint as I can carry on my plastic card. It's a canvas board, so we don't have that, um, I want to call it a pressure release. We don't have that give in the canvas from a stretched canvas. And it doesn't really matter to me what it looks like right now because I intend on using it as the beginning. And I'm going to just go ahead and try some other things. I don't generally use very much yellow. But I like it. I just um, not being super familiar. And I see that stuff in there. Wow, cool. Pull it, and you can see you can get it out. So I'm really thinking this is still making me feel like it's more of a background than anything. But I want all this variation on a theme. I'm going to steal some paint from somewhere else. And the yellow and the white are making some cells. I may drop some more white in there at some point in time. Because I'm making an awful lot of awful lot of yellow. I think it's time to put that the other way. See I have some schmutz on there and I'm not sure that must have come straight off my card. I think paint is melting paint, so it's time to switch. Maybe clean cards next time. Let's just use something else entirely. I hope some orange will cover that. Orange will, orange will cover a lot of things. I'm going to have to press that card right down in, in a sort of a dip just to uh, make sure that the canvas disappears. And I'm going to do that again. And I'm just going to keep doing it until I get the background I want. I kind of think black would be neat. But since I've never done this before, I don't know how that's going to work yet. And I like gold with yellow, which sounds really strange to me still saying that, but I do. It doesn't look very impressive yet, but uh, that's okay, because lots of things don't turn out to be better than what you thought they were going to be. So try not to judge me any better than any worse than you judge yourself. And uh, yellow is such a light color, I mean really. 
Got to find out sometime, and I've been dying to find out what happens. Nothing that's impressing me terribly, but at least I'm completely, well, I thought I was completely, I'm pretty well completely covered. I'm just going to take some white, and maybe, just maybe, it's time to pull out the spatulas. Get some more geometrics going in there, and uh, use whatever paint is left. I think the paint on this can go in here, maybe in that area where that schmutz was just aidling me. I see that piece of naked canvas right there, and there, and here, and here, and too many places. Really? Bug season. Yeah, I told you, they like white canvases. They obviously like yellow canvases, too. I'm going to try and keep my somewhat geometric background going on. You see, I gave myself an awful lot of that schmutz. I think it's time to just try the other things, like in... If I hate the gold, I won't stay with it. But seeming as I've just started, I'm not going to make any assumptions quite yet. Although I'm not thrilled with that. That's okay. Let's go to, um, let's go to orange. I want a different kind of tool, but I'm not finding it. I think pink is next on my list. I'm not thrilled with any of this yet, and it might take me longer than 20 minutes to fix it, but that's not necessarily true. It's probably just me panicking. So that is not the pink I was thinking of, but it's okay. Makes me want to bring, ooh, wow, makes me want to bring the black in. I think it's time for the big spatula. That's what I think. I think that will help a lot. As long as my turntable will continue to spin. I'm not sure my muse is all that happy with me for trying, trying yellow, which is obviously not my thing. I refuse to give up easily. It's never over till I sing. Never mind. <laughs> that was supposed to be funny. I'm not sure it was that funny. Can I get away with it? Maybe, maybe not. That's what I get for doing things with my left hand. I'm going to take that paint right off of there. And if I don't overdo it, I won't make brown, but um, there's no guarantee that I'm capable of not overdoing it. I want to get out my Prussian blue. And I know I need to wipe off my spatula, but I don't want to. <laughs> so maybe I'll just wipe off one side of it. I think I've got to have some Prussian blue. I don't know what I'm going to do without it. I'm going to use what's on my spatula. I can still put white in there. I'm a lot nervous that the Prussian blue will make green. I 
I've got forks, but I am afraid to use them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wipe off my little spatula. That's a very uneven swipe. Doesn't mean that I can't succeed. It just means I'm making it difficult for myself. I think my rag needs to go somewhere I think I want to go back to using my little acetate sheets. I am just going to have to waste some paint, I think. I have some darker orange and I want to use it. I don't like this bottle. It always surprises me. And it's been a long time. That's why I don't use it as much. Well, I'm slowly but surely getting somewhere, but I'm not sure where that somewhere is. And I do want to just keep knocking off the paint and using it as long as it's not brown. Acetate gives a much cleaner swipe than the side of the spatula is doing for me right now. I need black, I need blue, I need all kinds of stuff to help this. Maybe texture will be the answer. I'm making gray now. Well, all I can think of is just going crazy with the white. And the black. That's not straight. Maybe the blue. Definitely some more pink. It just doesn't have much going on with the uh, without the orange also. And I, like I said, I don't like this container. I hate using up the idea of using up all of this awesome magenta. But I think the magenta is my answer, to tell you the truth. There we go. I'm getting somewhere now. I don't know about that. That wasn't exactly where I wanted to go. Slowly, very slowly, I feel like I might have a shot. <laughs> Got to make sure my tools are really clean, because otherwise you're dragging all kinds of stuff you don't want. No more bugs, please. I saw that little little buggy, little fly-winged monster. I'm going sideways. Well, at least if I have to wipe off and I hate doing it, it's 
yellow. I've got a minute and 34 seconds left, which is not going to be enough to finish this in any sort of nice way. But, I'm not one to give up either. I'm getting somewhere, sort of. <laughs> Slowly, but surely. That's the Prussian blue. That didn't look too bad over there. Phew! That was close. I thought I was going to fail. I don't like failing. I wonder what a fork will do. I said I was going to use the basting brush and then I didn't do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to use some basting brush. Cool. All right, so I've got two minutes to tell you guys everything I need to tell you. Or to keep painting. So I'm going to try and do both. <laughs> but I'm not really good at both, so I make no guarantees that I can. Shop my Amazon link if you want my book called Because I Can. Or the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. Or... <laughs> my OXO omelette turning spatula for the gold mica powder and I have teespring below the video I have a paint pouring mixture below the video I have Pinterest and Instagram links at the bottom of the description below the video Facebook albums, volumes one, two, and three, below the video at the bottom. I'm not hating this anymore. I don't know if I want gold in there or not. I got it whether I want it or not. I think I'm not going to mind it so much. It is coming out kind of fast. I think a little more blue wouldn't be, wouldn't be a bad idea, but um, I've got this cobalt blue, and I'm a lot nervous about whether... I can get away with that. I think it might be just what the doctor ordered though. Yes. Cool. Okay. Phew! That was really close. Do I have a crib sheet? I do. I have a crib sheet. It says, um, if you contribute to PayPal or Patreon, I include you in this month's contest. And uh, when you do so, I will send you a notification of which artworks are available. If your name is drawn for that contest, you'll get to choose one of three or four, depending on how many I put in there. Um, I want to say thank you to everybody who's contributed so far to keep me painting. Really appreciate that. I want to say thank you to 50,000 subscribers. Really appreciate that, too. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps my standing. It helps my YouTube videos find placement on YouTube. Better placement. And... Um, I, I asked for a thumbs up. I need a thumbs up. <laughs> Can you give me a thumbs up, pretty please? Um, if you guys have questions, please feel free to ask. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. In the last 20 seconds of this video, you are going to find a, uh, a playlist with over 450 videos on it. I am going to probably torch this, and you will be gone as I do so. And it's, um, it's really different, but it's okay. Even though I kind of panicked it wasn't going to be okay, I still think it is okay. And uh, I love you guys. So if anybody's interested in purchasing my artwork, just leave me a message on YouTube. If anybody wants lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, and you're in the neighborhood, please just leave me a message on YouTube. And I will get back to you and give you an email where you can contact me and we'll have a chat. So that is 
actually, 